I hear a sp spear really loudly. Where are going? A genius thinks he's so smart. Of course! Can someone answer me why people share this crap with me? A sort of Hindu guru group practice that I'm meant to be swayed by. No. How wonderful. They've got wonderful art. I'll give them that. But uh, the reality tends to fall below. Uh, just over here there's a little link for a free book. You can order a free book and then I'll badger you for more money in the future. Seems kind of futile to me. <laughs> I love this. The science of Dharma for mankind. The conflict between, like, say, Hindu and Indian spirituality. And science is huge. Huge! When you say the science of Dharma, you're not actually saying science. You're saying the practice, or the ideas, or the philosophy. The mysticism of Dharma. Bring it on. Pathetic, really. It doesn't matter if it goes back... 5,200 years or a million years. If a thing is false, it's false. And you produce your book in 29 languages. Basically, the major Indian languages and then the major global languages, especially those in the West. English is going to be on there. I'm guessing French as well. Probably a whole bunch of other major languages in the West. It's mysticism based around Krishna. So what if Lord Krishna is important to you? This Hindu mysticism doesn't really have any value for me. So you can have a free book. Okay, you have a free book. I suppose that's a good thing in a way. You're not charging for it, but it's about, well, spreading the faith. That's pretty good. So you can go onto websites and get yourself a free Bible. And then they badger you for months or years later with spam emails, literature, give donations to the starving poor, and they give them Bibles, or in this case, <laughs> perhaps this book, or they preach. You'll get a meal, but we'll preach at you first. Why not save the hassle and save them the problem with posting an item to you? Or even the issue of you downloading something? Give some money to Doctors Without Borders or something like that. You know, avoid the bullshit and actually get onto things that actually help humanity. Some um, cherry tomatoes mm. and scrambled eggs. Really simple. Cook the man some fucking eggs, bitch! <laughs> on the website, it goes over various things, and you can even go on a retreat to the ashram over in India, and you can go and enjoy your spirituality. But it's essentially about indoctrination and giving up wealth and giving it to a better cause, and conveniently, they happen to be the greatest cause, and inevitably, they want to get your money, and the guru lives in relative wealth and luxury, while the average person dresses in simple robes. It's the same in a great many guru cults, where they teach against wealth, and yet, the gurus are typically living in a very easy, steady lifestyle. But of course, they have the excuse that they've surpassed the need for luxury, and if you surpass it, you can have as much as you like. It's ridiculous, and not at all convincing. But of course many people fall for it, because they don't know better, or because they're looking so hard for a spirituality. They'll accept anything that crosses their path. I have to say, I think Robert almost comes, along, comes with a deep psychosis.